Long time no see guys it is I that flip flop guy and welcome back to more Shadow of the Colossus in the last episode we took down number 13 The 13th Colossus of the game and this time we are heading off to number 14 Cenobia yes, that is correct Cenobia if, if you're like hey, man That sounds like another Colossus that we fought and yes because this one, this Colossus that we're going for is very similar to a couple yeah, Colossi yeah. ago, Solobia, right? Cenobia and Solo. C uh, hold on, give me a second. Let me, let me, is it Solobia? Give me a second. It's Solosia. Okay, there we go. I was like, I swear it's not Solobia. It's Solosia. There we go. Too many C's, man. Too many C's. Yeah. But yes, Cenobia and Solosia are. I would like to believe siblings, they look very similar. And they kind of have a very similar mechanic, except Cenobia, it's going to take a little bit more elbow grease to get them down, unfortunately, because we all know how Solosia was. Solosia was kind of a little bit of a jerk with me, uh, <laughs> taking a lot of uh, a rodeo. We'll just say that. It's just a big old rodeo with Wander. So I hope, Wander, you are up for another rodeo. <laughs> But no, number 14 is probably the one that I struggled with the most. I can't say that so far. So far, obviously. the I will spoil it. The last Colossi in the game is the one I struggle with the most. And it is quite a jerk. But hopefully, uh, hopefully it won't do any, you know, it won't be bad. But so far, Cenobia can be quite tricky if you don't know what you're doing. Just because there's a lot of mechanics that we will be coming across that you are not used to, I guess I'll say. If that makes sense. Good lord! <laughs> Good lord! But yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, you've never really messed with this, so how can you expect to know it, I guess? I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, you gotta look for your your surroundings to see if you have any interactables, and how do we get over there without dying? There we go. <laughs> you have to look around quite a bit to see if there is a specific way. Are we going the right way? Yeah, we are going the right way. We just have to f come through this field. Yeah, it's, it's very, very strange. So I, I hope to show it off. This is sad. Oh, come on. Why do you have to make me sad right here? Oh, hello. <laughs> that is so... Oh, that's too dang sad. Okay, we're going past. We're going past. But no, it's one of those things where you can struggle with it. It's either one of the easiest bosses in the game. I guess not easy, but it's one of the easier bosses in the game or one of the harder. So I am not uh, looking forward to what we have to do. And is it over here? I am actually quite unsure of where we... Yes, I believe it is over here. This... Area kind of reminds me of Halo 1 for some reason. <laughs> if you ever played Halo Combat Evolved, if you've ever played Halo Combat Evolved, uh, maybe you know what I'm talking about. These giant rock ridges are very reminiscent for that, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. I've only played Halo 1 uh, once, so <laughs> and I somewhat liked it. You know, it's a fun game. I will say that. And I'm, I don't think I'm lost. Oh, we're lost, buddy. Oh, we're lost. We're lost. No, we're not. We're, we're not lost. I promise. We got to go. We got to hitch a left here. Again, this is all oh, not new to me, but it's just very confusing. Are we even going the right? That, it has to be up here. Am I, uh, <laughs> am I actually lost? Uh, I think this is the longest also uh, Colossi away from us, if I'm not mistaken. And we have no light here to the left of us, so I'm kind of worried that we are heading out of our way. I'm hoping not, because we actually haven't been up here, so... It is kind of weird that there's a lot of dead dead plants and objects, and it looks like we could climb that tree. It's like in that groove, so you would expect to be able to climb up it, but oh well. I'm gonna head this way regardless. I'm hope... Come on, aggro! Go! Keep going! I know I'm hitting you with my feet, and I feel so bad doing that, but I think we are heading the right way. I think so. Yeah. Dang. Looks like the farther we go out, yeah. the more dead area there is. But can we take a look at this actually first? <gasps> I think this is where the cutscene was. That was a few, two episodes ago. I think so. This looks about right. Could you see the tower from here? <gasps> oh, oh, please tell me. Please tell me. We barely can. I don't think you can. Oh, I, it's in that direction, though. I know it's in that direction for sure. That would be so cool, though. I, I think know. you can if you get in the right position, but in our position, we cannot really see it. And Agro, where are you? 
Um. Aggro, what are you doing? Just, you're stopping and smelling the roses? Is that what you're doing there? Come on. <laughs> Good lord. I, I feel like every, almost every episode now, Aggro's like, oh, man, do we, do we have to keep doing this? Can we just, you know, stop and eat some lizards? I know I haven't been by any lizards recently, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? And I think... Oh. <laughs> um... I think we're here. <laughs> the very scary tunnel. I'm just gonna walk from here just to take in the ambiance a little bit. And obviously I'm gonna have to use some lighting effects here just because of how gosh dang dark it is. <laughs> this game is dark. Darker than usual. <gasps> wow. What the heck? This is so beautiful. And the water's clear to oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Talk about places you would want to fall asleep at because, good lord, look at this. I mean, obviously, if it's raining, it's not going to be too comfortable just because the only land, I mean, there's land over here, but the only, like, comfortable land that you would want to be at is exposed by lighting. So if it's raining, it's not going to be too, too comfortable. But, oh, my goodness. I could fall asleep here in two seconds, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm not a- I don't have troubles falling asleep too- too often. Uh, my wife does. My wife, uh, has to have this certain schedule, and if I hit my head on the pillow, I can be out like a light in two seconds, so. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that's- it, 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 you know, there's always one person who can just fall asleep wherever, and that is me. I am known for falling asleep on, like, airplanes, which apparently people really struggle with. <laughs> I find it quite easy on airplanes to fall asleep very quickly. And it looks like we have arrived to Zenobia's place of living, place of resting, and good lord. Can I just pop up a side-by-side -side of what this place looked like on the PS2? Here it is. Look at the difference! Look at the difference! Like, good lord! <laughs> it looks so much different! It's gross how different it looks. Just the amount of time- like, I haven't shown off too many pictures from the PS2 version or PS3 version, but this version is the, the definitive the definitive version. I will say that already. It is just so beautiful. So everything is so detailed. Like from every brick placed, from every stone that is etched in, it's just all so beautifully crafted and and just just amazing. They they really thought about every single aspect about this game. It looks like we woke up Zenobia right away. Unfortunately, right away, we need to go up this little thing here because there's no fire nearby. Zenobia is, I think, not weak, but oh, good Lord. Oh, good Lord. Wander, wander, wander. Zenobia is also afraid of fire, but unfortunately, we do not have any fire sticks. Okay, good, nasty. What you want to do is start leaning Zenobia over here because there's some certain things that we need to do, unfortunately. And ugh, Okay, go up, go up. We need, we need, we need, we need to get up here. And unfortunately, I don't think we can actually make this jump without Zenobia. Hello, Zenobia. Already doing the job that they're supposed to do. Ooh, 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 good Lord. Get back up there, Wander. Get back up there. Okay, Zenobia. Hi. Hi, oh, hi, friend. Um, can you do that again, please, while I rest, though? Can you do it again? This is the part that I'm talking about. Usually, if you do not know what to do, you're very confused on what to actually achieve here. And what you need Zenobia to do is knock down this tower. And unfortunately, it's a little bit tricky. Okay, we did it. And I just controlled Wander in the cutscene. So uh, it is weird that you can do that. But you need to be careful here because Zenobia can actually still knock you off these little pillars. Not these little walls, luckily. But as you can see, we need to do that a couple more times, Wander. Wander, wander. Get back up there, you silly little goo. Come on. Ooh, da -da -da -da. The music is scary. <laughs> Get up there once more. We need to make our way over to these towers. Zenobia, Zenobia, I'm just barely got up there, Zenobia. You need to chill. You need to wait, young man. Wait your turn. 
<laughs> I need to line myself up straight just because the cutscene's gonna be a little bit finicky, but can you do it one more time, buddy? Thank you. Cenobia? Hey, I, I'm still up here, you little idiot. Come, come on. I'm still here. <laughs> oh, you mad, huh? You mad. Are you mad, you little, you little turd boy? What, I'm gonna call you names. You little stinky fart smeller because you're not a smart fella. Oh, I'm not a smart fella. I'm not a smart fella. Wonder! <laughs> oh, good nasty. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we can just take the down route. I, almost, I don't know if he can get killed by that, but um, I almost tested it out. <laughs> so we're fine. We're fine. Hey, Zenobia, can you let me up here, please? Good lord. I know you need to do it, but can you wait? Can you wait a few seconds before you freaking mess with me? Yeah, I told you. I told you. <laughs> there we go. That's another one down, and we're gonna wait a little bit till it starts moving. Ooh, we made it. We somehow made it. You cannot get on these towers without knocking those other towers down, unfortunately. But with every tower that is knocked down, Zenobia, do you want to run into this? With every tower that is knocked down you will get like a little checkpoint of sorts. So you can jump on those, but this is what you want to do is have Zenobia just be a little butthole and ruin this beautiful architecture. What are you doing? Huh? You stink. Yeah, really? You stink. <laughs> Come on, you little booger. Come on. You want to hit this, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you, you like you like hitting pillars with your face. Oh, you like hitting pillars with your face. It is so good for your diet to get a nice face full of pillar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually having really good luck with Zenobia hitting these uh, pillars. Usually I have a pretty hard time, I'm not gonna lie, a very hard time uh, for Zenobia to hit these pillars. I, okay, um, maybe that was a little, oh, no, there we go. Usually I have Zenobia just kind of look at me and go like, what are you doing? <laughs> so maybe the arrows are helping, I don't know. But usually even with the arrows, he's kind of a turd. So come here, buddy, come on, what are you doing? Are you just waiting? What? Yeah. Come on. Attack this pillar. <laughs> but imagine this. Imagine you're an architect, or maybe not an architect, but like a uh, a historian, and you're like, man, I got to save all this beautiful architecture and just this beautiful design that these people, this civilization, this civilization of a hundred years ago, people have built. And you just see this giant monster destroying it, and you're like, excuse me. Wander, can you get up there, please? Hey, this is not okay to break. <laughs> Good sir. Good sir, I do not need you to break this one. I just need you to calm down a little bit. There we go. I need you to break this guy. There we go. And I think we are heading which way? Zenobia, I'm here for you. It sounds very weird. <laughs> so, oh, okay, okay, you're here for me. You're here for me. Well, I'm here for you. You're not stuck in here with me. Or I'm not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with me. Yeah, that's the catchphrase. Uh, Zenobia, you want to try one more time, buddy? There we go. With that down, we fall on the ground, wander. Hey, buddy, are you okay? We want to get through here and... Oh, good lord. Uh, Zenobia, hi. <laughs> oh, no. I don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Get up here, get up here, get up here. Get up here. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I think we, what we, yeah, yeah, I know what to do. Oh, good Lord. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We want to get Zenobia underneath. We need to get up there now. Right now, right now. Why don't you get the piss up there? <laughs> good Lord. We want to get up here because Zenobia's going to be like, hey, that's not fair. I want you to come down here and play with me. <laughs> come on. Zenobia, come on, you know you want to. You want to play with your new toy. You just unbox me out of the, uh, boxing? I don't know, plastic box? Yeah, there we go. Once you hit Zenobia, this will happen. And just like last time with Celosia, Zenobia will lose all of their armor. Hello, boy. How are you doing? What? What's wrong? You don't got no clothes on no more. And I'm hitting you with my arrows. Oh, that sucks for you, doesn't it? Oh, you stinky. Stinky, stinky, smelly. Yeah, that's what you are. <laughs> are you going to attack me? Um, there's no way. Really? You're just going to stand there and take it? Um... 
There's no way. I mean, your health is going down. You're not a very strong Titan. Come on, attack me. What are you doing? Oh, you so smelly. Yeah, yeah, I have infinite arrows. I've got the power of infinite arrows, Zenobia. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> I've never done this before. I didn't know you could do this. I think all the uh, damage is done. Yeah, the damage is done, Zenobia. <gasps> oh, good lord. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, Wander, Wander, <laughs> Wander, you get the butt up there. Okay, we're fine. Zenobia, how you doing, you stinky, smelly boy? What is going on? Get up there. No, stop shaking those arrows. Those are hood ornaments. Gosh dang it. Okay, we are on Zenobia. <laughs> After messing around. I didn't know you could do that much damage to Zenobia with just arrows. So that does prove that you can only kill a Colossi with their sigil. Zenobia, can you chill, please? We did this with your brother. Up with butterfly. <laughs> I feel very distracted right now. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, pretty, sparkly. <laughs> Can I stab you in the shoulder blade, Zenobia? There's not very cash money of you. Excuse me, I did not want to be on like this. Um, help? <laughs> Aggro? Aggro, where are you? <laughs> I don't need you, but I can you, you know. Oh, this is my new aggro. Look at him go. He's crazy. Don't jump. Oh, good lord. Oh, <laughs> good lord. Can we stab the poop out of you? Come on. Oh, come on. This is... Do, do tiny step. Hey, hey, excuse me. Hey, excuse... Really? Oh, oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. No, hey, leave me alone. Leave me alone, you loser. And now I'm back on you. Yeah, no, just kidding. No, just kidding. Oh, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Zenobia, the camera's being weird. Zenobia, please. Okay. Hey, 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 Zenobia. I didn't, I didn't mean to. Ooh, you were... were we're too good. We're too good. Now I'm gonna stab you in the back. <laughs> wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Come on, baby. This is their only, only sigil. Come on. Do you need to hit that again? Cause you get, your head hurts. You need to, okay. You need to stop shaking and spilling all the black ooze on my face. It's not good. And you almost took me out of there again. You little turd stuff. <gasps> Zenobia is so smart. Oh, you're so smart. You deserve an A plus. I didn't realize I was actual, an actual mechanic. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Zenobia, you tried. But I think your brother's more better, or way better. So, bye bye, Zenobia. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we actually had a pretty good Zenobia fight, but uh, camera, excuse you. No! It looks like we are fighting a giant next episode. Okay, I mean, we've had our fun with the small Colossi for sure, but of course we got a rider dove to end off the episode. A traditional dove, thank you. Goodbye dove, have a good day. <laughs> oh, 14 Colossi down. 
Only two more stand in our way. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.